It is National Button Day. Who would have ever thought it? And yeah. here we are embracing the buttons. And why not? Because we all grew up, we had extra buttons. One would get loose, you'd sit it, put it in a jar, maybe next to your bed or on your vanity. And what do you do with all these buttons? Well, boy, do we have a solution for you today. We know someone who has a solution for you today. I just want to show you a little bit about what we're talking about here in this studio in Harlem. Uh, we're talking about Bo McCall. He creates these wearable and visual arts by applying clothing buttons onto mostly upcycled fabrics, materials, and objects. The button man, as people know him as, arranges his items to stimulate one's curiosity and imagination while simultaneously drawing attention to the unique history of buttons. His work is held in the permanent collection of public institutions and by private individuals, including the Museum of Arts and Design, that's here in New York, and the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. So it's such a cool, I, I'm just so all about this subject this morning because who would ever think there's so much you can do with buttons? Bo McCall, you are the button man. We are with you this morning. I mean, what was your inspiration behind creating this and when, at what age did you decide to do this? I was about 19 years old. My mother had a, a button jar in the basement, and my journey started with that jar because everybody's mother or grandmother has a jar of buttons in the house somewhere. So I started from there. I had no idea that I was going to continue with the buttons, but it's a billion, zillion buttons out there in the world. So from project to project, I work with different types of buttons, so I never get bored. Um, I'm just off of um, doing a commission for the Mad Museum. Monday night they hosted their uh, annual gala, so I did the honorees awards. So cool. Congratulations. Yes. And, and you are an artist. I mean, this is artwork. I mean, yes, it's on the designs of clothing. I'm wearing the necklace. You're wearing a jacket. We see some of the pieces, you know, with the, the, the shoes and the accessories that we're looking at. But what does it mean? What do you want people to get from your work? Th to not, well, first of all, we shouldn't take the button for granted because everybody can identify with a button around the world. Um, I just take the button and I give it another life, a permanent life. Um, the art, a lot of times I'm not really good at public speaking okay. so I can speak through my work. Well, so, we are honored to have you speaking with us on Fix 11 News. Can we just like, I mean, this is, I love the feel, the texture, and when you are putting your work together, you're actually using your a needle and thread. Right, everything is hand sewn. In my work, glue is a bad word. So I like to use a needle and thread, old no school, like your, your grandmother or your mother. And we're talking plastic buttons. We're talking wooden Me buttons. We're talking... Metal, mother of pearl, metal, horn, mother you name it. You this is one way to celebrate National Button Day. Bo, thank you it. so much. I thank love you. it too. And, and when we come up uh, back on Pix11 News coming up in the 10 o'clock hour, we're going to tell you about the space we're in here in Harlem. This is a really cool story and why his work is being sold here. You are not going to want to miss that segment. I mean, this story just goes on and on and on, but we're going to wrap it up right now, send it back to you guys in the studio. We are live from Harlem, just sporting our buttons, yes. right? Yes, we are. We love it. Great. All right, love it. we'll send it back to you in the studio. Thank you.